Michael Jordan and <clears throat> Tim Duncan, David Robinson. I never saw him do that. 37 and a quarter. <clears throat> it, it, it was reminiscent of, you know, of Michael because it's sort of otherworldly. Everybody in this locker room will be uh, we're pretty proud to say we saw that that night. And uh, Clay's game, what was your... Uh, what were, what were it wasn't that good, you know. <laughs> kind of slid under the radar. I had like 50 playing down with like a bunch... I was in fourth grade, I was playing with some third graders too. That is honestly the last time I remember going on a scoring barrage like that. <laughs> man, that was impressive though, man. It just... It's funny because I, at halftime I was so angry, I, I, I told the guys, run whatever you want. Steve just honestly said at halftime he wasn't going to call anything. I hit the first one, it's like, oh, okay, good. You know, I think we went up four when he hit the first one. Yeah. Like, oh, Clay's just got us out the bond. At that point, the rest of them were impressive. We got to stop, transition, find him. And he was making just those ridiculous shots, and it just was a cool kind of feel. Hey, Thompson sets his feet. Like I said, we got we got stops, which help keep the energy up in the building. Ray Thompson triple, yes sir. First three were shots that he normally takes, just coming down and got a rhythm, and then from then on, it was just finding us a glimmer of daylight to get a shot off. And um, you really just feel like every shot you're going to throw is the cliche answer. Every shot you're going to throw up is going to go in. That's how it felt. You kind of feel the flow of the game and see him knock down two or three jumpers. We have a couple calls, you know, uh, offensive sets that we look to, to call when he gets going. So, and the one that was like 28 feet out, those three were really the ones that stood out to me. The third three made where he was calling for a screen at 28, 30 feet out and just pulled up and made it. And that's a deep one. He shot it for the Piedmont. Oh, man. That's a 28 footer. And then after that, it was just get him the ball any way we could. We, we abandoned any play sets that we usually run and just either the pin down or just trying to get him the ball and make a, make a play, and, and the rest was history. I got me a layup in in that, though. I know y'all caught that. But if you shoot that ball at that point, you get booed. I mean, I was right there, so I had to shoot it. But if I was anywhere else open, I would have passed the ball right back to him. They, they ran two plays, get the ball to Clay, and Clay get the ball. You know, those, those were the two, two plays they ran. And um, maybe the one that came off the curl and it bounced in, I, I was a shooter's role. I almost turned the ball over a couple times trying to find Clay. It was impressive. I mean, it got to a point where you got the ball, and it was like a hot potato just... Where is Clay? Clay Thompson to the rim again! A 24-point quarter. And every shot he made was, got a little louder, got a little louder. A build-up to you know, the last two minutes of the third quarter. Clay three. Yes, sir! Oh, man! I grew up about 10, 12 points. And uh, I was just, every time I touched it, I was going to shoot it. Yeah. Driving again. Good! I was taking a lot of bad shots out there, but I was taking one until I missed and just got lucky. And the one in the corner that I gave to him and uh, we had his feet 10 feet apart, knocked it down. That was uh, unbelievable. He's got it. His three. Good! Yeah, the one in the corner, one of my feet were all jacked up. The, it was off balance and I just kind of just threw it up there. Have you ever seen anything like it? They actually ran one on their own, uh, kind of that eleva elevator door play that was, I think, his maybe his last shot. Players called that on their own, and Draymond uh, set the whole thing up in the timeout. Here he is again. Makes one 10 feet beyond the three point line that doesn't count after the foul. And there he is, a foul. And he's made the basket anyway, even though it won't count. 
he reminded me, he said the last three he took, he was dead tired. And, and he was like, I know you scored 54 two years ago, and I was just going to sling that last one up and see if I made it and get 55. Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was so fun to watch our, not only Clay, but his teammates respond to, to what Clay was doing. I thought we might get a technical foul because our guys were all over the arena at that point. I think Barbosa was like in the loge uh, section 23. I think Steph was almost a half court. I mean, the playoffs get extremely loud, but that loud, it was crazy. But I don't even think nobody was talking. We was just out there jumping around, so we didn't need to hear no play calls or nothing. I, I can't imagine what he was feeling because I know all the guys on the team, especially guys out on the floor, it's kind of like an out-of-body experience. They knew at a certain point that all we were doing was just dribbling around trying to get him the ball. Like Will Smith and the Fresh Prince, when he was playing ball, it was just, just dribble around, give him the ball, and let him shoot. And they still, you know, couldn't get there fast enough before he, you know, released it, and it was, it was just beautiful. Uh, we were looking at the third quarter box score, um, 13 for 13, uh, 9 for 9 from 3, and... Uh, Jaron Collins turned to me, so we got to get more balance out of our offense. Do you know that he saw that he saw the game on the plane? No, I saw the picture, and it was funny. Uh, I guarantee the first thing he says to me is probably should have had 60. <laughs> <laughs> hey, them video games real, bro. They they real now. Got to get the timing right. Yeah, you shots. can't. Yeah, you yeah, can't do that in the green. video game. But can't get nah. the green zone the entire time like that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand what y'all want me to say. Like, <laughs> like, what, what are we looking for here? I don't get it. <laughs>